The U.S. is set to reach a major milestone today, sadly, I should say, with 1 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 by the end of the day today. That's according to Johns Hopkins University. The president said that he will ask China to China, foot the bill for damages caused by the coronavirus, saying it will be a substantial amount. Good luck with that. And the White House also unveiled a testing blueprint for the nation with the goal of testing at least 2% of the population per month. That's around 7 million tests total. However, many public health experts argue that is inadequate to get people back to work. Plus, a number of governors are saying that there are supply chain problems and they're unable to get enough swabs and other testing materials. And that's something ABC's George Stephanopoulos asked the Assistant Secretary for Health and Human Services about it. I hope that he doesn't pay by the letter on that business card. Take a look. It's not just Senator Murray who's had this kind of criticism. Even one of the president's strongest allies, former Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey, say that the White House has to order, the president has to order the use of the Defense Production Act to fix this supply chain to make sure every state has what it needs. For this, uh, everyone who's commenting is really on the periphery of it. Let me tell you the ground truth. The ground truth is, from most circumstances, the DPA is not necessary because there is maximum production. All the industries are working together. On the supply chain related to testing, there will be a DPA action today, but it's not one of the forceful DPA actions. It's a hand up. Now, let me tell you guys why I'm hopeful for this before we kick off the conversation. We had a conversation maybe two weeks ago about there not being any masks and you couldn't get masks, you couldn't get disinfectant. Well, before the show, we have masks now in the studio. I got disinfectant at Costco. So in two weeks time, we might have more testing. This is where we're at right now. So Lindsay, you wanna kick things off here? Yeah, I think widespread testing is the key to kind of getting everybody reeled in so we're all, we're all on the same page and understanding how this virus is affecting us and where it's headed in the future. And I think that every governor is kind of trying to deal with it in their own state in their own way. Like you saw Larry Hogan, the governor in Maryland, he's uh, had a relationship with South Korea on his own, had his wife organize 500,000 tests, come to that um, T city specifically. So I think that, you know, every governor has to figure out what they want to do and work with the federal government and just try to get these tests in because it's really important that people get tested so we can be out and be free again and our family and friends can be safe. Yeah, I agree. I want to get tested. Al, how, where do you stand on this? Are you looking to get tested or right now you don't mind? Uh, right now, I think I'm okay just because I haven't left the house. But to piggyback off what, something that Lindsay said, I don't want to be salty out here, but one thing that I do worry is that governors are handling things differently. Different municipalities are handling things differently. And that's okay if we were all in closed off pods like you would envision an ice tray. The problem is, Jeff, we're not. People travel, people drive, people go down to spring break and then could fly back to a place that's been tested and shake somebody's hand. So un uh, unless we're going to lock off state borders, which you are not going to do. We need to have some kind of concerted effort to make sure everybody's being tested so we're all on the same page.